New tonight, seat belts, they save lives and prevent thousands of injuries, but their use is not required by all passengers. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor has more now on how that can lead to the deadly mistake. One minute, what seems like a safe ride, becomes a nightmare as a family is dangerously tossed around when their cab gets hit. This passenger seems to be in shock after her cab is rear-ended. Oh my God. Oh my God. And here, a woman flies into a window while her fellow passenger wearing a seatbelt remains in the seat. It can get worse. In May, Nobel Peace Prize winner John Nash and his wife were killed in a crash, both in the back of the cab. Neither wore a seatbelt. This video clearly shows how the dangerous scenario can play out. The unbelted dummy goes flying into the windshield, injuring or even killing its front seat counterpart. They become a projectile. Emergency room chief Dr. Lewis Goldfrank says being in the back seat unbelted is a prescription for disaster. People die, they get broken extremities, arms, they get broken jaws, they have big lacerations, they are a mess. But in New York, it's legal not to wear your seatbelt in the back once you're 16. And if you ride in a cab, you don't have to wear one at all. And many don't. Just didn't cross my mind at all to put it on. It would have been the right thing to do, but I just didn't do it. According to Robert Sinclair of AAA, many teens, 16 to 18, don't wear backseat seatbelts, just 40%. As you track the number of deaths, when you get from 16 to 18, the numbers just skyrocket. We asked some teens why more don't buckle up in the back. It's sometimes seen as not cool to wear the seatbelts in the back. I'm confident in my friends. He's a good driver. Experts say the reality is the deaths and injuries are highly preventable with a simple click. We could prevent a lot of terrible things. This is one of them. That's a key one. 28 states do require seatbelt use in the back. Legislation is pending to make New York one of them. Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.